in a bid to alleviate the mounting economic challenges faced by the resident of Ekpe community, the executive chairman of Ekpe local government, Princess Sura Olayemi Anima Shaun, has taken a proactive steps by organizing a relief effort initiative as a response to the adverse impact of the removal of fear subsidy, surging inflation, and the skyrocketing exchange rate of the dollar. A co-op blog is live here at the Ekpe local government sectariat to bring you coverage of these free raw food items to be distributed to the people of Ekpe community by Honorable Princess Sura Olayen Mi Anima Shaun. So don't go nowhere because this palliative is aimed to provide the much needed assistance to the people of this community. Stay with us as we bring you this coverage and keep you updated. I am Baba Ali Solomon, reporting for a Quartz blog. The chairman of Ekpe local government, Princess Sura Olayemi Anima Shaun, launched an initiative involving the distribution of raw food items to the residents of Ekpe, Lagos State. This initiative is part of the effort to alleviate the mounting economic challenges caused by the removal of fuel subsidy, inflation, and high dollar rates. Delivering a speech at the distribution event, Anima Shaun extended a gratitude to the governor of Lagos State, Bajide Songo Olu, for his unwavering support in making the relief efforts possible. They call me Yekpe. Being that I've, been, I've always been a mother, and I've been a mother, and I'll forever be a mother to the Ekpe local government. And not even to Ekpe alone, to the people that are around me, that I'm able to mother. And as you can see now, I want to give kudos to our executive governor of Lagos State, Governor Bajide Olu Shola Songo Olu. Yes. Because this initiative is just that um, to make people feel very important in this, local, in this government and which we have always been doing because they are our uppermost priority in this local government. And um, in this local government again, I took my people like myself and I've always been there for them. So doing this incentive is not something I'm starting for the first time. We are doing it quarterly in this local government. We have been doing it. It's not new. It's not a new thing. So now we are giving them rice, we are giving them gari, we are giving them ewa, we are giving them yam, we are giving them um, shower, we are giving them egg. And to me, yes, we do it quarterly, but now it's like we are doing it every month. Because as you can see, we have Ekpe is highly populated now due to the migration from Ibejuleki. And um, we are sharing borderline with. Um, Ogun State. And even some, some, some people that are from Ogun State, you know, they, they transact in Ekpe here. They do their business in Ekpe here. So some of them are here. So it's not just about Ekpe alone. So Ekpe is like a central um, hub for people to come in and out. And at the same time, people in Ekpe here, Ekpe is highly populated now. Even our best space is not enough. So with this, I think we want to employ some NGOs and people that can come to our aid and assist. And we promise to do more as a local government chairman. And our executive governor is doing very well, supporting the local, each local government at least to make ends meet. At least if food is on their table, there will be more, uh, less complaint for the um, less privileged. And let me say the masses and the less privileged as well. And it's not about food alone. We are taking care of our um, community in terms of health, agriculture we are supporting we are supporting all our women especially because in Ekpe here we have more women and women <laughs> exactly we, we support them and the youth as well and I want to use this medium to talk to our youth as well they should at least be up and doing and they should try as much as possible it's not about criticizing they can always speak their mind they can always say whatever they want but you don't bring anybody down in this government is not easy in america this thing is happening there in u.s is happening or it's this um, um incentive is they are giving it everywhere to support communities not here in western world is happening as well and they are not taking it they are appreciative they need to appreciate the government they need to appreciate at least even if there is any complaint they will appreciate then they can lay their complaint then we we'll work towards it rather than complaining bringing the government down it's very wrong so this we will be doing this every month 
in Equal Local Government. We have been doing it quarterly and we so promise to be doing it every month. Them, it can be confirmed. We do it quarterly, and even we have some people in our community here that support even to do this as well, to support our people at least to put food on their table, irrespective of what they are doing. So with this, I'm still employing people out there. Some NGOs we partner with them, so we can still do this. We are doing um, health um, um, incentive as well because we are trying to give them free medicals glasses, malaria treatments, checking their BP, cholesterols and all. So with this, I think, um, I hope our people will appreciate it better, rather than looking at them and not doing anything. There have been, because even when, yes, there are times we just ignore some comments, and at times we try to make them reason and realize that it's not what they are thinking. Like somebody was like, saying we collected 150 million for this um, incentive. <laughs> so I'm saying it and um, I'm putting it to the world that um, there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. So, yes, I've been doing it because um, I think around March, we have some people from the US, they came to support us. We do it, they give us clothes, food, you know, all kind of incentive, and we are able to give over 5,000 people in Ekpe. And this one we are doing, we are doing almost 5,000, at least to support our people. Because we don't have, in this, this thing that we are doing, if you can see, they are not all from Ekpe. Some people are coming from other, even my SDs are here. So, exactly, being the head of the division, so they are here. So, hopefully, we hope, that people can still come and assist, at least, um, to help us in the local government here. Thank you very much. These initiatives saw local farmers being patronized to source the raw food items, a move aimed at supporting the local agricultural economy. What is happening here today is not a new thing. It's just that um, the one she's doing today is more, more elaborate than the one she has been doing before. This is not the first time of she, of the chairman of this local government, Princess Sura Animashaw, giving out her palliatives. So what she's doing today is giving the palliatives, and the palliatives, you can see the crowd in this local government, that if you look at the population of people here, we are, they are female, they are mothers, they are women. That's just to tell you that the chairman, as a female, as a mother, she knows what the women in this community need. She know where, uh, she know what and what to do for us at the right time. I could remember vividly, that was uh, December last year. She gave a palliative for, to farmers. I can be tell my chest that my farmers were given 100, 100,000. And we are improving in our businesses. So this is not the first time she has given a series of palliatives. The last time she did, another one she did last week was a GC form given to the youth in this community. And as a youth, we felt our impact. The only thing we just need is to pray for her, that the God Almighty should strengthen her. Then uh, we need the corporations of our people in this community. She can't do it alone. We need to assist her. She has even done beyond expectation as a female, as a mother, as a woman. She's a woman of integrity. She's a woman like a man. She has done things that we cannot even, we can't say it all. So the only thing we can, there is nothing you give to people that will be contented with them. If we have millions of cows in this place, it can't go around everybody. So we just have to, to if the one she's sharing now doesn't come to you, we're all done for the next turn. And as what she has said, she said this thing is going to be a continuous one. So we just have to be patient and be prayerful. As, as an indigenous of this community, we give glory to God and we raise our thumbs up for her. Yes, yes, we have. As a president of farmers in Ekpe, I'm, uh, I'm an artisanal fish farmers. When I say artisanal fish farmers, that is to say the, the farmers 
that catches, uh, that deals with fresh fish from the fresh water. You know, Ekpa is surrounded by water. We are the fish basket of the state. Most of the fish that is being distributed today is from our farmers. I'm one of them. I am one of them. And I'm still a farmer. And I will continue to be a farmer. The eggs are gotten from farmers. The yams. Yes, the yams are also gotten from farmers. So she can't get everything from us. So. You know, it, it is not only farmers that is in this local government. She has to go through other areas and angles. We have CDCs, we have CDAs. So she needs to get across all of them. But the one that belongs to us was given to us. We have been carried, we have been carried along. Now, one other thing. Ever since the time we've been having chairmen in this local government, Princess Sura is the only chairman that recognizes farmers. Ever since the time we've been having chairman, chairman of this local government, she's the only one that recognizes farmers. And we'll be getting an award to this local government for dunking years. If I should go and bring all the awards that we've gotten for this local government, it's over 20. And for us, for her to even recognize that I'm having this set of people in this community, you know she has done well. So we are part and parcel of the system. We have been carried along. The event, however, faced the challenge of accommodating an unexpectedly high number of attendees from neighboring local governments and states. Honorable Anima Shaun called on the people of Ekpe to stand by the government and show support for its efforts as her administration targets more relief efforts. And that's on period, thank you. They should appreciate whatever we give them and they should appreciate what we are doing. And it's not about bringing us down, saying all sorts of things about the local government chairman, about the government. It's not about that. They should try and appreciate what we are doing. It's not been easy on us as well. And, um, and I pray that the God in his mercy, we try and um, all this thing is happening all over the world. It will come to our head, not in Lagos State, not in Nigeria alone, in the whole wide world. That's all I can say. Yeah, today, due to the uh, subdue removal, so the council chairman, Princess Rua Lai Emi, hereby take it as a motion to alleviate our people from the suffering, so that they can distribute yams, egg, rice, beans, gari, and other essential commodities for humanity. That's the essence of coming here today. Yes, I can confirm that. In, by quarterly, by quarterly, we used to do it. We used to use some year SDA to do it. At times, we distribute it to the world. So we have nine walls, including the Varan area. So we called on the chairman of the world, the sonar chairman, and the ballet. So give it to them so that they can go and distribute it to their people accordingly. So that is the essence. No, that, no, no, it's only the overcrowd. This place is overcrowded. Some people from Eredo, Agbawa, that heard about this thing, everybody just came. So they don't even know the implication. Maybe it's a question that I don't know. But the political government is doing palliative. That's why everybody rushed down to come and receive their home. And we are trying. So everything is moving. Yeah, I just enjoy our people to be law-abiding and to, I mean, to cooperate with this present government. As a woman, she has a lot of, to do for the people. And she has been trying a lot. So sometimes, about two to three weeks ago, he gave out a GC form to 100 students so and other things like that so definitely we are in, in the top gear to assist our people ah, you can see that it's been very it's going smoothly but you cannot you usually you should envisage the crowd it's normal but we put in modalities like you see we gave them tickets so that it will not be too rowdy we expected that it to be rowdy. There is no way you'll be sharing something like that. It will not be rowdy. But we, we thank God that it's going smoothly. Nobody has fainted in our local government. Say that Ekpe can do more and they should be appreciative. You know, it's not that we should not criticize, but we should give constructive criticism. Not that because I don't like your face or I'm in the opposition, I should not be criticizing, criticizing. If a government is doing well, is doing something tangible, you appreciate the government. You give criticism, 
but it's not as if you are not going to give you not you are, you are not you are supposed to criticize in a constructive manner that will make the government to do more for the people what is happening here today is what we we'll are be expecting other local government have done their own and this is the turn of a fellow local government and we thank god for the turnout of the people from the community and never the fact the large number of the people that turn out there's enough ability for them and everybody was happy at least for the first time that this type of thing will happen here and the local government chairman have even promised apart from the directives that the all local government should go and do this she has determined to be doing it openly for everybody to have the benefit because everybody knows what has happened now as far as removal of subsidy on the petroleum is the way it's affecting the, the country. So I mean the best way now is to help them by giving them at least this kind of things, at least to relieve them from the hardship the people are facing. No much challenge. The problem is like our people are just right, they are eager to have it because they thought it would not be enough. So that is their belief. But we try to calm them down and telling them that they should be patient and that thing will circulate and everybody will have. Nobody will leave this place having taken something home. But as far as I'm concerned, I know that it's only chairman, the council chairman, as the executive chairman of the council that handled the whole affairs. And I believe she's the one that financed it as the government of the day for the benefit of our people. Well, uh, she has promised, and one thing about her is this. If she's not ready for anything, she will not say it out. But it now depends on her, and everybody will be witness that. I do well over chairman, and I do well over governor, our president, our Lord in Cotton Shani, local government, you are more assist you are. No, she shan't be by you, but outside me, no Jamotin Taja. But more real lots of things, you won't she. Nepa won't jay, Nepa won't a form of agbent, you won't she share, won't form a lower giddy, more assist you, or long or bar, when you go out to the Macron or lower seal. I did do pay and mutu and belong for Kinikon. Chairman, why you alone go to buy the cook by the sea, can't support the cook by the sea because you come on you as you come on you do also wagon. Are you a new bar? Our time is a business no one help. Nipa or do only cotton for our lodger. I did do pay low on what you call on to buy my own or call on go to be on got to buy a sorry for you. Let's consume me. I do see you. Secretariat, one of our secretariat, others, was secretariat, one of the four, one year, one gift to come. Lati, a penal, I want to work, but one shake gone, or may a quality, you know. Lati, a quella, I see, was to be. I do quell go 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 Tori stress in out man pod. Omo lo mi si won wa won wa won ri kokon gba. Wa la yen ti podo lo mi de re yo ma ri meta merin gba. Ko possible. En to re yo kan gba gan by force ni. Talkless awon to wa ri gba. Kon jo kan ma pin si word by word. Ah, won se gan se man wa ti en try. Won gbin yoju. Bo kon iba ma gbin yoju si. Gbogbo won kan ton se won ti en try ni. Adupe fun won kon se gan ni. Tori ah, ko a ti en mi le so gbogbo nkan ton se ton. One try, Shama one try. Even anything, Kotoba Wallace, Fun, Ibi. One man try, Lati, you pay for everybody. But go out the Laman Riba. But on what on T Riba, you know, come about try Lati, they come Mariba. So long will limit about Lati, we told you no. One go to try Lati, my Jacky, one Mariba. But there, and Kilo Rukweno, come up with word by word, one job to be alone, alone Lati. The joy among the residents of Ekpe community is immeasurable as they gratefully embrace the palliative given to them by the executive chairman of Ekpe local government, Princess Sura Olayemi Anima Shaun. This compassionate response has not only given them immediate relief of their flight, but has also fostered a new renewed hope of the local government commitment 
to um, the welfare and also the progress of the people itself. This is a co-op blog. For more information, news, trending gist and entertainment, follow us on all our social media platforms. And also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Baba Ali Solomon reporting for a co-op blog.